As Valid Eunice from Switzerland takes charge of proceedings in this one. This, of course, the men's under 68 kilogram final. Great Britain and Russia, host nation. Of course, they'll be cheering on this man here, Denisenko. But we know that Bradley Sinden, well, he's got plenty of pedigree coming into this one. World Championship bronze medal. His best result, of course. He's had a silver in London, a bronze in Rome. What he wouldn't give for a gold here in Moscow. Open stance and an open opportunity for both. Denisenko thinks about it. Thinks again as Denisenko on the counter. Nice little hook around the corner from Sinden, showing some confidence. I would venture that Denisenko, slightly the longer leg of the two, but Sinden showing the power there. Oh, big back leg to the face, Will. That's always the, the risk that you take. Sinden pulls it back. He's made of tough stuff. I think everyone from Doncaster is. Especially the Taekwondo crew. Of course, Sarah Stevenson. And the late, great Caroline Fisher as well. Sinden of similar stock and similar style. But it was the headshot from Dennis Henko. Saw it coming. Picked his spot. Smacked it home. Far from one-way traffic as we go into the last minute here. Good fake from Sinden. Oh, that face kick wasn't far away either. Yeah. Nice push kick to the body from Denis Enko to the delight of the partisan crowd here. In Moscow, good patience from Sinden there, fighting his nature, trying not to leave his head open in that middle distance. And the cheerleader is back. Hopefully someone will join in. And no one does. Certainly conducting himself well has been Denisenko. Three-point gap, that head kick making the difference in the first round. This one, of course, for the $5,000 prize and the ranking points. Valid Eunice having a good close look at that one there. To take it, indeed. A battle of the front legs. Sinden, of course, could do with a little punch or two on the way through. Denisenko has already shown. Can't leave any spaces against him. Nice little cut up double. Good flick from Sinden. 5-4 in favour of the home fighter. Good control of the ring there by Denisenko. There's a headshot, flicks home there. Well, he set that one up, pushed him to the edge of the mat, drew him back in. And there was the headshot waiting to happen. Well, unsurprisingly, the power punch scores. Landed it with nice timing. And Denisenko, well, he's found the space for that every single time. Sending eyeballs him as to say, okay, three of them in a row. That shows quality and timing. Bradley Sinden, well, he needs a score on the board and quick. Got to keep in touching distance. But Dennis Inko, well, I mentioned that height difference. Good punch as well from the Russian. Sinden has a little look at his coach, Martin Stamper, as if to say, OK, we need to try and change things up here. Last 30 in the second. Well, the game, John, could be given by Valid Yunus. British fighter fixes his shin guard, maybe hoping that he'll forget. And the referee making a mature decision there. Cam John not given. 13 to 4, 20 in the second. Well, he's got that front leg on toast at the moment. Yes. 
kicks in and trying to adjust now, keep that head out of the road. Senko, of course, has that world and Olympic pedigree there. Oh, shots of Davai looking for Denisenko to fight and go for it. Good back kick around the corner from Sendin. That'll help his cause. Obviously looking for the extra points to be added. Valid Yunus has a little check there. Make sure that the two points are added. Martin Stapper happy. His fighters climbing back into this one. Should be 13 to 8 by my pathetic mathematics. Should be two points added for the back kick. They'll have that conversation as coach and fighter try and change things up here. Well, that's the great thing about Dennis Enko. He knows that Bradley Sendon loves to come forward and he's made him a suit to fit. I'm sure my math teacher would be proud there. I managed to add up six plus two. It's 13 to eight. So the gap shortening for Dennis Enko. Sending the working away in the clinch. Dennis Enko. Well, a picture of concentration as ever, using the front leg to keep his opponent busy and keep him honest. Sinden, a little bit more elaborate techniques, trying with that back kick around the corner. Good block there from Bradley Sinden. Benisenko has done a fine job there. No points on the board, but he just killed at least 25 seconds. Well, that gam jump could help. And Senko trying to hang on in here. He's got the quality. Has the momentum shifted a little bit towards Great Britain's Bradley Sinden? Well, only time will tell. Of which there's not much of it left. 45 to go in the third. Denis Senko. With the quality back leg turning kick, blasts it home. Doesn't score though. And the back kick come reverse around the corner from Sinden. And while the Yunus making sure this is conducted cleanly and fairly as we go into the last 30 seconds now. And with a fair chance, Denisenko of a home gold medal. Bradley Sinden trying to find a way through. Double, a great balance from Denisenko there. Didn't even give away the gam jump by stepping out. Headshot, whistling by. Clock ticking down. Dennis Enkel finishes with a flourish there. Absolutely superb. A testament to the quality of Alexei Dennis Enkel. Plenty for the crowd to cheer about. And it's Dennis Enko on the double here in Moscow. Bradley Sinden just trying to push him around a little bit. And Dennis Enko says, no, no, my friend, not today. Credit worthy effort from the British fighter. A battle to the end from Bradley Sinden. Alexei Dennis Enko will take the gam jump all day long as he takes an excellent win. Sinden reminding him that he was in a fight. He will take the silver. Superb gold for the Russian.